What are you doing? You're doing a little... I am a projection of you, and you are a projection of me. We both have free will, right? Well, Assuming, that's, right? That's, that's, that's the idea, right? So, everything that I've ever done in my entire life has led me to here, and everything that you've ever done in your entire life has led you to here. So, for some reason, you have created me to be here, so you stop, and vice versa. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. So, what's up today? Have you, uh, for a walk? Yeah? How yeah. was your weekend? It's good. How was yours? Pretty well, yeah. I've been hanging out here at the lake for the last couple of days. It's been beautiful and just trying to get it in while we can, right? We only got one more month left until winter, so. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Anyways, nice to meet yeah. you. Yeah, you too. I, I just have a quick question for you, though, since you're here. Yes. Have you ever seen Earth from outer space from this perspective before? Uh, no. No? Are you sure? I've never been in space. I haven't either, no. But do you believe the testimony of other men that claim to have seen the Earth from this perspective before? Yes. Okay, and the images that government officials give us about said where we live, you believe those also? As far as I know. Okay, what if they were photoshopped and... Yeah, I don't know. Is this real. the real one? Is this the real size? Yeah, so both of these are NASA images from .gov NASA. Okay. Now what they did is they made the United States bigger here and it's different here, but the diameter of both circles is the same. The reason why they can change the size of the continents is because you'll never investigate how this is possible because you just believe them. Yeah. Like a Christian believes the Bible. Right. Yeah. So if I was to tell you that these are actually documented um, composites, so what they're doing is they're taking high altitude airplanes and just scanning our level motionless plane, compositing into a sphere, do some Photoshop, little hot spot right in the middle, and then you believe that that's where you live. Huh. So this is the image of the beast. Because if I take this globe away from people and I tell them that they don't live in outer space, but actually it's an infinite level plane that goes oh. on infinitely. Ladder. Yeah, cool. Yeah, so what do you think about water behind you? I'm going to disengage at this point just to keep yeah. moving, but... Are you Christian? I'm going to disengage at this point. I think you're, yeah, I think you're a believer in Jesus Christ. And in the Bible, it says numerous times that we live on a non-rotating level motionless plane, not a ball. There's nowhere in your Bible that mentions a sphere. And in Isaiah, he actually differentiates between circle and a ball. So I'd Have investigate this. Okay. Yeah. Have a nice day. Bye. What's happening? Uh, I could be. I am. Are, are you a believer in Jesus Christ? Yeah, it doesn't matter if I am or not. John. I am was Jesus Christ, the Messiah, man. Okay. It's beautiful, man. God bless you. Man. Right you on, believe? yeah. You, yeah. Believe? you too. Uh, yeah, I do believe that a man manifested himself as God called Jesus Christ. But really, what it is, is just truth manifesting itself right. in the flesh. Okay. And then his works deemed this place evil because they didn't like what he was saying and doing. And they killed him. And then they killed him, yeah. Then what happened after they killed him? He rose from the dead, of course. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Jesus Christ, man. Hallelujah. Yeah, right on, man. So you, you, are you a seeker of truth? Who am I? I'm a gospel artist. Okay, well, that's great. Um, but I, I, that's not really what I asked you, though, is it? Seeker of truth. Yeah, are you a seeker of truth? A seeker of truth. I, I know the truth. You know the truth, but you do, do you just stop at Jesus Christ? Yeah. Oh, okay. You don't seek anything else? No. Oh. Well, that's not really what he tells us to do. He doesn't tell us to be idle, does he? No, we're not idle in him. Okay. Nobody, he's not no idol. He is the Messiah. No, no, no. Idle, like I-D-L-E, like you're idling your car. Oh, no. Bro. Yeah. We're here to spread the word of Jesus Christ. But you just told me that you don't. You just stop at Jesus and then... Spread the word of Jesus Christ. Okay, yeah, so that's actually what I'm doing. Here okay. you go. Yeah, you should check it out. Spread uh, the word of Jesus Christ. I am, yeah, because the earth is a level motionless plane, not a ball in outer space like you're taught. Do you believe you live here? Uh, I believe I, leave, I live where I'm at. 
I know, but like if I was to say Earth, just as a general understanding, you believe you live on a ball, a sphere that's floating in outer space and Mars and everything and the moon and all that stuff are like real places you can travel to, right? I don't care about none of that stuff. Well, you, I think that it's important. For, that's kind of why I'm here. Because, because what it does... Inhale and exhale. Okay. Well, I'm just trying to that's convey... I'm just trying to convey something that in the Bible that you say you believe, okay. it says that we live on a non-rotating plane. What verse is that? Let's pull it up. Well, it's up to you to look it up, my friend. And no, I got information on that for you to look up. I'm not your teacher and I'm not your prophet. I'm just here to share information. And then, then you go and then you go about your business. And if what I shared here is important enough for you and it convicts your heart to seek more truth, then that's up to you. But right. I'm just here to share information that the earth is a level plane and it probably goes on infinitely. And if you think you believe in a ball earth and you can land on the moon Are and all that stuff. Earth? Uh, if you want to identify me that, that's fine. God bless you. Oh, you, you're not into it, huh? So you don't you don't believe the Bible? Interesting. So you don't believe in Jesus Christ is the truth then? No, uh, apparently not. If you don't seek truth, then you believe government is your God, not Jesus Christ. Have a nice day. <laughs> Interesting. Government is God. That's fine. Yeah, he's talking about taxes, man. Are taxes legal? Are taxes legal? Are taxes legal? Is it legal for someone to charge you tax every year? Okay, well that's a, that's your choice, right? So if that's the way you feel that you're at, then that's fine. I don't know why you came back. Right, the earth is a level motionless plane, my friend, and it says it multiple times in the Bible. So yeah, that's a red pill. So that's a symbolic gesture that you're gonna open your mind. Yeah, I think you just like to profit off of your music personally, but that's just me. Uh-huh. I wouldn't want your information though. Thanks, though. You too, my friend. You're back. You're doing well, thanks. How about yourself? Good. You are me, I am you. Yeah. What's up I'm just hanging out, sharing some information. What about? Um, well, I got a question for you. Yes. So a couple days ago, a man who just so happens to be 33 years old lit himself on fire on the White House lawn. Do you believe that? Even though you've never even looked into it. I just told you and then you believe it, right? Why? Why did you lie? I'm, I'm, I'm quoting what mainstream news says. Mm -hmm. And then I'm telling you. So you believe it, right? Sure. Okay. Is that, any different, is that any different than like somebody who is a Muslim or a Christian and they just blindly believe in their holy books? And they don't really grasp the understanding of why they believe what they believe. Because government is just, scriptures would be the news. Like they're giving scriptures out and it's up to you to determine whether or not that's true. But we're born in this, in this reality of which government is true. And if you go against what they say on mainstream, you get called names like a conspiracy theorist. Absolutely. Yeah, and so I don't believe anything that comes from mainstream news because it's kind of like, no offense, and by you know by all means, I don't wish this upon anybody, but if somebody was to, if you were in a relationship with someone for a year or two, right, and everything was great, like, I mean, it is fantastic, right? And you come to find out that your spouse is cheating on you. What do you do? Why would you have a conversation about it and everything is great? Why would you want things to change? I mean, things are great, right? right. I mean, like, like we're going to get, like, this is, we're probably going to be together forever, so, yes, right? Yes. Okay, so why would you talk about it and bring it up? Like, what would be the point? Because things would then go away on the wayside and probably wouldn't be as good as they are. True. Right? But you'd have a conversation to figure out why and if there's...
there something that you can improve in the relationship or something that either you did wrong or the other person needed that you weren't able to provide? Okay, fair enough. And from that conversation, would you deem this person trustworthy? Okay, so forgive and forget is not in your vernacular. He's shaking his head yes. So you do not forgive and forget. You actually hold a grudge is what you're saying. Okay. So if I tell you that you believe you live here based on pictures from NASA, even though you've never seen Earth from this perspective with your own eyes, you believe him, right? Not necessarily. He does. Okay, fair enough. Okay, just... I guess humor me, you know, kind of go along with it. But I have, do you trust the United States government? No, absolutely not. Okay, so let's go back to my analogy. Things have been great for me before I found out about a level motionless plane, AKA flat earth. I didn't trust the government before. Now I really don't trust them because all of the photos and images that we get from outer space are CGI and Photoshopped. They're not real. I believe it's like believing in cartoons are real because you see them on TV. Right. But you can't tangibly go to the moon and land on it. You have to take testimony of the government to say, we have the resources to do it. We will tell you what is true and you must believe us. Right. So that's like the girl or the guy saying, no, 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 this isn't going to ever happen again. I promise, I promise. But you're never going to be able to fully trust that person again, right. which is why I'm here. But then unfortunately I have people walk by, tell me the same thing. I don't trust the government. But then they continue to believe solid narratives that they have have ingrained in their heart. Because at four years old, you had a globe in your school, right. and this is where you live. Right. But you ain't never seen this before. Right. You're just told it by authority, so you just go along with the game so you can just have friends and not cause a ruckus, right? right. So because we haven't caused a ruckus, now things are the way that they are. And I just feel like that this information is important. Absolutely. And that's why I'm here. So, yeah. I appreciate you being here. Yeah, I appreciate you being here too. That's awesome. Yeah. So I have some information and you can take it for what it's worth. Thank you. Sounds you know, great. but... Nice. Um, Thank you very much. Yeah. yeah Thanks for stopping. Sure yeah, you too. Have a nice day. Have a nice week. Bye. Listening to music? Cool. Yeah, what are you up to? Earth is flat. Well, may or may not be. It probably isn't in your reality, right? No. No? Why is that? I'm just reading that. Oh, sure, yeah. So, with that being said, like, why would you believe that you live here on a ball in outer space? What evidence do you have? Oh, I think that. they're flat. You were told that? Yeah. By who? School? School? Do you trust the school system? Yeah. Okay. So you would. Do you? Um, no, I don't. Uh -uh. No. Did I choose. I choose not to. Yeah. Did you go to college? Why does that matter? I was just wondering if you didn't trust like high school or college. Uh, just the educational system in general, because it kind of is a church, in my opinion. Teachers are like pastors, and the students are like in a seminary school. And all of the books and the texts that you get in school are true. And if you question, you either A, flunk out, or you don't have any friends. And I don't think that's very fair. No. Because how do you verify the moon landing? So in your opinion, the Earth is flat. Well, so is you wanna there follow like my, a drop off? Could you, you want to follow my, my logic and my thought here real quick? Yeah. So we, so science, do you trust science? Absolutely. Okay. What is the scientific method? I'm confused. You're confused on the scientific method? Yes. Okay. So the scientific method, just for layman's terms, would be the, the five of us would be able to use the same resources to confirm what somebody else did, maybe like across the street or something like that, right? And then we can verify our findings, and then we can say, yeah, this is a true statement, not a theory, right? Because you want to base science on fact, right? Yes. So with the moon landing, only the government is allowed to land on the moon. How does the rest of the public here verify the moon landing by using resources to verify it? Without taking their word, like a Christian would take the word and testimony of the Bible. 
Faith. Okay. So you have faith that the government can land on the moon then, right? Uh -huh. Is that what you're saying? Are you videoing this? Others have faith. Oh, uh, it's pointing that way. So yeah, but this is public property. So. Oh no, I don't yeah. give a fuck. Okay. I was just wondering. Yeah, I am. I have a YouTube channel actually. I'd love for you to stop by and check it out. Hey. I do this often. So what do you do for a job? Uh, why does that matter? <laughs> I mean, it, are you looking for some kind of val validation of me being here and spouting out the mouth about different things, kind of. maybe? Yeah. No, I was just wondering, like, <clears throat> do you just promote this? Like, Well, I'm, I'm trying to allow you some grace yeah. because it seems that you take what the government says, like on the news and through education, as true okay. and you never question them. But do you trust the government? I don't know. No? There's nothing else to trust. Absolutely not. She says no, you say yeah. So you're a devout fundamentalist. Are you a devout fundamentalist that believes in the government? I don't know what that means. It means that everything the government says on the news, you believe, and if you don't, you get called names and people walk away from you. So that means that if you don't, then you're kind of in a cult and your friends or your parents will bat you on the hand and say, don't think like that. That's not true. The government knows and trusts. We trust the government. They have our best interests at heart. But if she says she doesn't trust the government, then what she's doing is she's picking and choosing Bible scriptures, like the news, and saying, yeah, they would, they, they lie to me about this, but they don't want to lie to me about where I live. And that doesn't make any sense because you can't verify the moon landing yourself. You have to base testimony on other men who are prone to lie. And then that's faith. Why can't anyone believe what they want? You can, and that's a choice, right? But what about facts? Do you want to believe in unicorns and elves and stuff like that? Oh, like yeah. Santa Claus? Yeah, I love Santa Claus. That's true. They're, yeah, I mean, that's your choice. That's that's true. So can I believe that the earth is rectangular? You can choose to believe that. But, but one thing that a lot of people I feel do is they replace the sphere earth floating in space. And they think that it's a disc floating in space instead. So, have a nice afternoon. You too. The Earth may go on infinitely forever. Dinosaurs don't exist, so good luck with that. Hey, uh, I got a question for you. Is that a photograph on your shirt? No, so how do you know that's where you live? He had an image on his shirt of the galaxy with an arrow pointing, you live here. <laughs>it's just always the win here right it's, it's always the win always the win can't just get a, a regular hot day <laughs> Peace, peaceful day right and i love heat so yeah i do too man i spent uh, a good amount of time about nine months in southeast asia oh yeah a number of years ago yeah oh, cool. so i really love hot weather right. and spicy food yeah no yeah i'm a little bit of you know spicy food but i love hot weather though. Yeah, <laughs> right on right. yeah so, so i got a question for you yeah. is nipsey hustle still alive or dead I believe, because me and my, friend, me and my sister had a um, conversation about that because of how they talking about all these other people, rappers and stuff, like they live and this man. We figured this, top top, we figured that he was still alive. Mm -hmm. But overall, I still think he's dead. Okay. You saw the body to confirm it and no, everything, I right? Didn't. Oh, you didn't? No. Interesting. So, so whatever TMC says is true then, right? Pretty much. Okay, so how are you any different than some religious zealot who believes that the Bible is true and they always defend the Bible every time somebody talks negatively about it? Are you an apologetist for the government? No. You're not? Do you trust the government? No, I don't either. But you, but you, you just told me that but Nipsey I'll, Hussle is dead because the government said so. What they say, right. Okay, what about Tupac? Is Tupac dead? Nope, I don't think Tupac would be. That's interesting. So what book is that from? Because it seems like you're just... Again, picking and choosing Bible scriptures to verify to verify your faith in the government. Oh, yeah, that's what I said. Like, cause like me and my sister have um, uh, not debate, but we think about that too. Like, um, like how how do people actually know they're dead? 
so we can't go back to war. I, it's more like I believe they're dead because of um, it's just been so long and I just forget it. Like, okay, they're dead. But deep down inside, I think the same because so much going on, I believe that they're not dead. Uh, how old uh, was Nipsey Hussle when he died? Do you happen to know? Uh, what is this? You said 33, I believe. Yeah, what a weird number. Yeah, 33. Yeah. Yeah. Did you know that if you were to actually pay attention to the news and television and their stories, even in local news, you'll see a pattern of them using the numbers 369 yeah. in various ways to add those numbers together. So if you have like the number 12, you can reduce that down to the number 3. Yeah, it's called gematria. They do that all the time. So what if the character Nipsey Hussle's dead, but the man who played Nipsey Hussle is still alive someplace else? Is that possible? Like, uh, what if he just signed, like, a, a contract and they said, hey, you know, like, for 10 years, you're Nipsey Hussle. Here's kind of, like, it's a novel, right? I mean, you're, they're going to give you hundreds of pages, probably, on how to act and how to con conduct yourself in public and whatnot. But then at this particular date, you're dead, quote, dead, right? And then maybe, have you ever seen Tomorrowland with that doctor from ER? It's a Disney movie. Yeah, you should check it out. It's like kind of like the 1% of the 1% go to this uh, island or this other landmass where all of the one percenters just hang out. It's like this utopia, basically. Free energy, flying cars and stuff like that. But we're stuck with garbage and trash. What do you think about that idea? It's pretty messed up. I think it is. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Because what, what it is, is it's a psychological warfare. It's a psi warfare to get people always in a sense of fear. So, like, recently a lot of the news has shown, quote, evidence of an asteroid that's supposed to hit Earth and so on and so on. Would you believe if they told you that an asteroid hit Earth? Even though, like, it was hundreds of miles away, you know, thousands of miles away. But it was enough to, like be on the news right but it wasn't like anything that would affect your life is that something that you would believe i mean for believing not mm -hmm. that i have to I have to see it okay I have to see it they had to literally all right and show it looks like you've changed your character in the last couple of minutes well no it's because of some fact that like i said i'm i'm a, I go, I, uh, I go i go i go with them mm -hmm. because of it, it lasts so long i'm saying they're going over you know, it, it, it's more like i'm the type of person that gives up yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. Like, okay, I'm uh I'll go with the flow, okay. It, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. But deep down inside it's in more like um no, I don't believe that. Yeah. So. Can I encourage you to just have resilience and be patient with yourself and continue to just press forward? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because this place is like a dripping faucet on your forehead. Yeah. It's it always reminds you of your past wrongs or things that you need to get done and people you need to take care of yeah, yeah, exactly. and sometimes the biggest quote curse in this reality can be getting other people involved in your life like family and that might look and feel like it's something that you're being led to do but as an as a man here in this country particularly and a strong black man which I hope you are uh, we need alpha men here we need alpha men yeah and so when I see commercials like Gillette having a black family and the man is shaving his, teaching his daughter who is taking hormone therapy to become a man, shaving her face, that doesn't even make any sense because why would you take pills to then just shave your face? But in the 50s, you would never see a black man teach his daughter how to shave. No, you would all. get the belt right. and then you would go to your room and then you would get straight. The right way. Yeah. But it seems like lately a lot of cucks and beta males run around and they just kind of go with the flow. Yeah. They just allow things to just happen and they don't stand up for what's right. right. And Basically what I was pretty much being known to be was <laughs> like, I just, just give up. Right? Just give up. Mm -hmm. like, you know. <laughs> yeah, don't give up, man. Because right. I'm doing it. I'm here often. Right. Trying to yeah, just why I want share. That's I to stop here and see yeah. you know what I'm saying. I want to see yeah. your idea on some of the stuff. And that's good because I like to hear people like that, you know, alpha, and to keep the next man growing and staying strong on what he believes, especially if it's the right way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. yeah, it seems like there is definitely a feminine spirit that is starting to overtake a lot of the men in this country, particularly. And I, I think that it has to do with a lot of like transhumanism and the incorporation of computers and human beings. Because what the quote 
establishment, elite, or that mindset, they have their own religion, and it's a Baphomet. And a Baphomet has both male and female parts on it, or it will have a strong feminine to it, and that is called the Baphomet. So it's an androgynous type of an asexual being, and they are corrupting scripture in the way that when God says we will make man in our image and make them both male and female. So what they're saying is that both male and female in one entity. And so that's why they're pushing the transgender agenda right now, so that it gets people comfortable with putting computers inside of them. Because Siri is a female because we gave her a female voice, right? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. A computer is asexual in itself, innately. It is whatever the programmer tells it it is, right? Yeah. And we have that same thing. Our creator makes us male and makes them female. But they have distorted it and normalized the bad, and they have taken away the good. And I, I just uh, kind of have a problem with that, <laughs> you know? I do too. Yeah. That's, that's really sad. I mean, I don't. I have a problem with it. It's just, uh, I, try not, I try not to judge it. But, yeah. When it comes to like debate or whatever, talk about it. You guys I mean, never against it. Yeah. You, know? you can judge righteously though, can't you? Yeah, you can. You can. Yeah, so. yeah. Because understanding that whatever judgment you weigh on something else, that same will be brought back to you. But if you're judging in righteousness, right. you have nothing to worry about. You're right, you're right. So you have the freedom to judge right. if you're judging in righteousness and with a spirit that isn't condemning, if you will, right? So I guess the reason why I'm here is I like to ask people if, if this is where they think they believe in a ball in outer space. <clears throat> what size is? Yeah. So what That's size? The what That's size the question. Is yeah. What size is America? I have no idea what size. Is <laughs> so <laughs> if NASA weird. tells you that America is this big, do you believe them? No, no. What about this big? Well, okay. Well, you saying that? These are NASA America. images. So America is this size here, same dimensions of the circle, but then somehow it got big, must have yeah, ate too much over the winter time, and then it got bigger. But these are official .gov NASA images. But if I was to say Earth, is this where you generally think you believe? Uh, you live? Yeah, generally, okay. that's what yeah. taught us in school. Fair enough, like, yeah. right? But do you trust the government? No. Right, okay. So with that being said, and I was to point out behind you that water lays level and flat always. And when it's not windy, actually, sometime, maybe up north when the trees are more larger and surrounding the lake, the water will be like glass and be a mirror, right? So in your mind, try to picture water like glass on the ocean, okay? So in your mind, no offense, but they told you about gravity and how over a distance water will start to gradually bend and conform to the exterior of a shape like this, even though you've never seen this before with your own eyes, right. you, you think somehow like, yeah, gravity, because the school told me. But then that's no different than a, a child going to seminary school and believing everything the seminary teacher tells them about the Bible and getting out of it and becoming this fundamental right? right. right? Exactly. So what I'm trying to convey is, is that water lays level and flat always, and we live on an infinite plane that goes on forever and ever and ever not a ball in outer space, because what this does is it actually puts you in prison. It is what I told you, that's it. I, I said what, what you're telling me oh, now, you I, I said that. So, right that's why I said I just stopped, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just let it go, like, okay, now I want to debate, all right, you, mm -hmm. because I'm not, I don't look, I don't read up on this stuff. It's just my belief, yeah. what it's I, over there now. you know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, it's common sense. Yeah, so it really is when you get older, right? But when you're younger, five, six, seven, eight years old, even maybe 10 or 12, you don't have critical thought yet. You just don't have experience, you know, in, in this reality. Being taught and, and, and by something, someone. Yeah, authority, right. right? We have, like, what I'm wearing, a lab coat, right? right? I'm just some guy. I walk dogs, right? But when I wear a lab coat and I act like I have authority, people want to come up and talk to me. Did you go to school? Where'd you go to school? What do you do for work? Yada, yada, yada. They're looking for some kind of validation from me orally that will verify whether what I'm saying or not is true, right? right? And so unless they hear that, I've been indoctrinated, basically, or gone to church long enough, right. a university, then they feel more comfortable listening to me. But what I try to do here at this table is help people separate themselves and trust their own observations of water laying level and flat. Right. 
And the higher in altitude you get, the horizon always stays pretty much level with you. And then, have you ever been to the ocean before? Yeah. Have you seen the sun set or travel further away from you? Okay, so when it is doing that, <laughs> if the Earth were a ball, okay, if it just, hypothetically, right, when you're watching the sunset, that sun ray would only go halfway because it has curvature. It would have curvature, right? Because you have to have curvature to have a ball. But in reality, what is objective reality that we see as human beings is that sun ray goes all the way up to the shoreline to your feet. And the five of us have our each own sun ray. Like I can't step over and take your sun ray. I have my own obs uh, objective uh, perspective of our sun, just like everybody else does here on earth. So the sun comes all the way up to the shoreline. It doesn't bend. So that's another um, quote proof that a person could use that we live on a level non-rotating so plane. Um, so what? What about uh, um, like time zone? Like, yeah. You know, what about that? Time zones are just a construct. Time is a construct. Time is used as a way to imprison your mind of limitations and keep you on a schedule and not to freely think. Because if you were to just have, quote, Indian time and just go about your business and do whatever you want at any time of the day, you would be able to have more freedom in your mind to think and critically think and just have peace of mind. But we live in a construct system that we were born into, so we have clocks and, you know, whatnot. But it's basically based on when the sun is directly over above you, right? right. Is when noon is. Right. And then, but what the sun is actually doing is it's just traveling further away from you. So the, the, the earth isn't spinning and the sun is the stationary object. We are flat, non-rotating and not moving and we may go on infinitely forever. And the luminaries above us are the ones that are moving. We never experience movement, and there is no mechanical device that has ever been invented to show such movement. Because you can't differentiate the ground moving from the ether. So how do how so how do we get day, um, daylight and nighttime? Like how do we try to get back to this point? Yeah. So um, what it m might be doing, just kind of an idea, is it's just doing a circuit across a flat plane like this. Okay. And so when it becomes winter. It gets to be outside here towards this alleged Antarctic ring. And then the center is the North Pole. So the sun has some kind of a relationship with the North Pole, some kind of maybe magnet, electromagnetic light or some kind. And it just goes in a circuit. Another idea is it just spins like a vortex in a circuit like this and comes back down and just spins so up and down. So when it goes up or down, it's when it's daylight. And one, which way or other, it goes nighttime. Well, Again, I think that what you're doing is maybe are you replacing the ball earth to a disc in space? You know, like just a floating disc, you know, in space. Because the sun in, I guess, in something for you to kind of grasp is it's significantly closer than we're taught in school. So it's only illuminating half of the earth because of our perspective and the sun's relationship with the, um, the molecules or whatever it is, the noble gases in the air. So the sun has a particular relationship with the ether where we see it as sunlight right now. But when the sun travels away from your distance and it's out of your horizon, it's still daylight out, right? Right. Twilight, you can't see it, right? So there is no Terminator line per se that NASA continues to claim. It's not a 50-50 like on the ball Earth. Nobody has ever seen the tilt of the Earth from outer space. Every time you go on Google and image search Earth from space, it's always at a 90 degree angle. They don't even, they, they can't even give you the benefit of the doubt and give you a tilting Earth because it tilts, right? At 23.4 degrees to cause the seasons and so on and so on, right? It's just kind of odd. but the. The globe here is weird because the reason why they don't do that is because you won't ever fact check them and then if you do what are you going to do about it right they got pit bosses they got intimidation you know so that's unfortunate right exactly and in the consensus of people's minds i'm the idiot right even though i can objectively see water laying flat and level everybody will walk by and say yeah it's flat and level but then when I start talking about their idol, this is an idol, this is the image of the beast, 
you take something away from someone and you find out who they defend. And they'll defend government. Because what else are they going to do, right? I mean, if they don't have government, they think that, you know, all, all is lost. You know? <clears throat> That's deep, though. That's deep. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, it's a fun thought. You know, I'm, I'm obviously a bit more committed to it than most, but that's why I'm here is because I feel confident in sharing this information and I'm not, your, I'm not anybody's teacher or anybody's prophet, but I, I do share this information with um, compassion, I guess, and just hope that people investigate on their own time. Understanding people are busy and stuff and each person, you know, needs to be ready on their own time. And that's what love is. Love is patient and love doesn't seek its own. I can't force anybody to change their mind about how they really feel about where they live, but um, people would ask like, well, what does it matter? And I guess you would have to view my testimony of what I've been doing since I have known the earth so is flat. Is that this right here? So yeah, that's got like 50 hours of information on it. And you can explore on your own time and lead your family in the right way. Yeah. Definitely, I'm taking a look at this slide. Yeah. Joshua is my name. Joshua, Eli. Eli. Yeah. You see the movie, huh? With Denzel Washington? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. It's one of my favorites. It's crazy because um, my name is Eli and it took me a long time to see the movie. Mm. I just, you know how long it's been out and I, I just seen the last year. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, oh, that's yeah. good that so you I'm saw like, it, though. I've been missing out, man. Yeah. That's a great movie. Yeah, right on, man. Good to see you. <laughs> you too. Thank All you, right. man. Yeah, you too. It, Bye, Eli. Mind if I get one of those? Of course, yeah. Take this. Awesome. Cheers. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. 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 Thank you.